Uh, I am totally running late for work because I got up late. But luckily where I live, there are always taxis around. Jimmy and Jean Dialto. Oh, Dialto. Well, Booger Dialto and Naga means in Booger. <laughs> so now it's 7.35 and I have 25 minutes before class, so hey, I'm not late. <laughs> oh my god, it's ridiculous. So if I take a taxi to work and there's no traffic, I can get here in about 15 minutes. If I take the metro to work, it always takes a minimum of 45 minutes and sometimes it's even worse because the metros are so crowded you can't get on. Anyway, we're here. I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks. It's kind of pretty out today. It'd be a nice time to fly the drone. Just don't have that kind of time. I really want to have breakfast. Maybe coffee. I'm trying not to drink coffee so much. It messes with my stomach. Who's there? Who's there? I can't see! Let's see, this is one of my students, I think. Let's get a close-up. Mark, Mark, Mark! Good morning, Mark! Bye-bye! <laughs> That's hilarious. Sometimes I feel a little famous here. I mean, our WeChat, the thing that I do on the side, WeTV, we have 40, 50,000? 40 or 50,000 followers now. And, you know, I have had thousands of students since living in China, so I get spotted a lot. Oh, look at that. Another Maserati. Step one is done. Probably not going to get to eat this before class. And then to make matters worse, two of my students are standing here waiting for the elevator and then they get in and shut the door. Before I can get in. Infinite mirror. Today, I really wanted to have a steak. And this restaurant's closed. I, I don't get it. This restaurant only just opened a few months ago. So it's like, and not just this restaurant is closed. That restaurant is closed. That restaurant is closed. So, I mean, maybe something's going on. Maybe there's, because of this construction. Change lunch plans. this very cool gourmet hot dog, which is a rarity here in China. I really don't think that people eat hot dogs the way that we do back in the US. Like usually you find hot dogs on sticks here instead of in buns. Anyway. Then I gotta go across the way, that's where the gym is. I have class at nine o'clock. I'm gonna get a workout in and probably train with my class depending on how many people show up. Uh, my gym class, if you haven't seen it in some of the previous videos, uh, they call it an MMA class. It's more of a martial arts class. Like tonight, this is fight club, so I teach them some offense, I teach them some defense, maybe a choke or an arm bar or something like that. It's not super intense. I, the people that come don't come consistently, so 
just do what I want to do. Usually it's fun. My only problem is it's so late at night and it's a long way from home. I'd much rather just hang out at home. A really funny cultural difference, at least in my opinion, is that Chinese people don't like to touch their food with their hands. So anytime you get like a hot dog, a hamburger, you go to KFC, you go to Pizza Hut, McDonald's, they all offer gloves. So you can wear little plastic gloves while you're eating your food. It always cracks me up. So I guess I should have done this earlier, but this is my gym. And as you see, it's pretty dark. Why is it dark? Well, apparently there's some kind of power problem for the last week. And my class last Saturday was canceled. My class Monday was canceled. But today, I was told we would have class. And I was never told we wouldn't have class. So, uh... That is pretty sweet. I have never had a chance to drive a Lamborghini. Oh, that is a Hong Kong Lamborghini, it looks like, because it was right-hand drive. All right, I gotta admit, I am a little unhappy. Now, the one thing is, the gym will probably pay me for coming down here today, because that's always been their habit, is they've paid me when I've come, whether I've had class or not. So that's okay. However, my wife is having a class tonight, and if I knew I didn't have to come to the gym, I would be home playing with my son right now, which is way more fun than spending an hour to come out here on the Metro, and then another almost hour and a half to get home from here. So, wasted time really bothers me, you know? I even was thinking like, hey, if I'm gonna be daily vlogging, I should bring my laptop with me to the gym, even though it weighs a ton, and then I could be editing the video on the way home. Wasted time is a bummer. And you know, I'm just, I'm trying to push myself because I enjoy pushing myself. I enjoy a challenge. That's part of what's really cool about you guys saying, hey, Chris, try this trick, try this trick, because I enjoy a challenge. It gets me pumped up, you know, it gives me something to push for, something to do. So the idea now of trying to switch to daily vlogging is a big step, it's a big challenge because we can do great things together. We can inspire each other, we can push each other, we can motivate each other. That's what we really need. You know, when I first wanted to start this channel, I went, to, I went back to the USA on a holiday and I thought, I need to find a mentor, someone to help me with this project, someone to help me motivate myself. And I found that in all of you. So I didn't actually need to find a mentor I just needed to find subscribers, people who were like into it and saying, hey dude, this is what we like, this is what we want to see. So you guys have really motivated me. So now I think it's my turn to try and motivate you a little bit more. And like, here's how I look at life. You really need to always be pushing forward, you always need to be improving, you always need to try harder. And it's not easy to do. You know, and you need to find what you're passionate about and really pursue that. And I truly believe that. I mean, I'm passionate about teaching. I would prefer to be teaching Thai boxing to teaching English, but I'm passionate about teaching. And I find that it pays off for me. You know, I'm really into what I do. My students love my classes. We have a lot of fun and we both grow. My students grow and I grow. And that's what I'm hoping to get out of the YouTube channel as well. I'm hoping to get um, like a different kind of community that I haven't had up to this point. And I'm hoping that I'm going to keep pushing myself and growing and that you guys are going to keep pushing yourselves and growing and keep pushing me and I'll keep pushing you and we work together. What could be better than that? That's what I'm all about, you know, this that's my whole thing, is take your six to the nine. What that's all about is about taking what you do well, taking what you are passionate about and pushing it up to the next level. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm loving this YouTube thing. I am loving creating content. I'm loving editing, trying to find music, trying to put it all together, and hoping that there's positive feedback. And you guys haven't let me down at all. You know, I think this is gonna do it. I'm on my way home. I really don't think anything else interesting is going to happen today. It has been one heck of a day. <laughs> it's just wacky from beginning to end. And sometimes it goes like that, you just gotta roll with it. 
as always, I just want to say thanks for watching the videos. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And remember, more than anything else, you are awesome. See ya.